Hello and welcome back to the Metabolism of Cities YouTube channel. I'm Aristide and in this video I'm going to show you an interview series that we did explaining what has happened in the urban metabolism field in Brussels and Flanders over the last five years. So urban metabolism uh, is not new in Brussels. It uh, already happened almost uh, 40, more than 40 years ago. Uh, with studies uh, from Duvigno and his team, where they analyzed all of the flows entering and exiting Brussels. However, after this period of five to ten years, it kind of disappeared for 40 years, and the the field re-emerged uh, around the early 2010s, 2012, something like that. And in 2015, uh, well, 2014 and 2015, we did a study for Brussels capital region measuring the flows and uh, entering and exiting the, the region. Since then, the, this field has been used uh, quite a lot by researchers, policymakers, practitioners. And this interview series um, interviewed all of these people using this term to better understand how do they use it, how this um, field has uh, evolved over the last five years, and also what are the different uses that these people have, um, well, have used to <laughs> in this concept. Um, we also asked all of these people to understand how do they see the field in the future, in the, let's say, next five years, and how this uh, community of people could consolidate in order to um, better collaborate, but also build on top of each other, uh, rather than uh, having individual contributions uh, that make islands. We hope you're going to enjoy this uh, interview series. Please um, click on the subscribe uh, of our YouTube channel in order not to miss any of these videos. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one. Cheers.